सॉल्व करेंगे इंट्रोडक्शन टू क्रोमेटोग्राफी ये यूनिट थ्री का है और इंस्ट्रूमेंटल मेथड ऑफ एनालिसिस का है सेवन सेम के लिए ओके चलिए स्टार्ट करते हैं फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर इज इन लिक्विड क्रोमेटोग्राफी द स्टेशनरी फेज इज मेड ऑफ सॉलिड एंड द मोबाइल फेज इज मेड अप ऑफ लिक्विड द स्टेशनरी स्टेशनरी फेज जो होता है वो सॉलिड होता है और मोबाइल फेज जो होता है वो लिक्विड होता है तो इसका आंसर जो होगा ए होगा नेक्स्ट हम बात करते हैं सेकेंड क्वेश्चन नंबर इन क्रोमेटोग्राम एरिया ऑफ पिक्स रिप्रेजेंट अमाउंट ऑफ कंपोनेंट इन द सैंपल द आंसर इज बी नेक्स्ट इज थ्री क्वेश्चन नंबर हाउ मेनी परसेंटेज ऑफ द बीटा सेलुलोज इन स्टेशनरी फेज द आंसर इज बी जीरो पॉइंट थ्री टू वन परसेंट द आंसर इज बी नेक्स्ट इज फोर्थ क्वेश्चन नंबर द कंपोनेंट विथ लेस अफिनिटी Towards the mobile phase, the answer is A. Travels slow. The answer is A. Next is five question number. Which type of packing technique of column not commonly used? Dry packing. The answer is B. Dry packing. Okay. Next is six question number. Six question number is. Which is not requirement of mobile phase? The answer is D. It should be chemically active. The answer is D. Next is seven question number. Which of the following is not a type of partition chromatography? The answer is B. TLC, thin layer chromatography. Next is solve करेंगे MCQ adsorption and column chromatography. जो कि यूनिट थ्री में ही आता है इंस्ट्रूमेंटल मेथड ऑफ एनालिसिस का तो फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर सॉल्व करते हैं क्या है विच ऑफ द फ्लोइंग इज एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ पार्टीशन क्रोमेटोग्राफी द आंसर इज सी पेपर क्रोमेटोग्राफी द आंसर इज सी नेक्स्ट इज सेकेंड क्वेश्चन नंबर इन कॉलम क्रोमेटोग्राफी इन कॉलम क्रोमेटोग्राफी द लेंथ ऑफ कॉलम डिपेंड्स अपॉन द आंसर इज ए Number of compounds to be separated. The answer is A. Next is three question number and three is which of the flowing sorry which of the commonly used adsorbent in column chromatography. The answer is D. Silica chain. The answer is D. Next is fourth question number. Fourth is which of the flowing will improve the efficiency. of the separation process in liquid chromatography the answer is d reduction in sample size reduction in column diameter the answer is d next is five question number five is in adsorption chromatography in adsorption chromatography stationary phase is solid while mobile phase is liquid the answer is a next is Six question number. Which of the following adsorbent used for column adsorption chromatography has maximum adsorptive power? The answer is C. Aluminium oxide. The answer is C. Aluminium oxide. Next, बात करते हैं MCQ solve करते हैं thin layer chromatography का जो कि unit three का है और instrumental method of analysis का है. Seven sem के लिए. Okay. चलिए स्टार्ट करते हैं फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर विच इज द फ्लोइंग बेस्ट टेक्निक फॉर प्रिपरेशन ऑफ टीएलसी प्लेट द आंसर इज डी स्प्रेडिंग टेक्निक द आंसर इज डी ओके नेक्स्ट इज नेक्स्ट इज सेकंड क्वेश्चन नंबर इन टीएलसी आर एक्स वैल्यू इज द रेशियो ऑफ डिस्टेंस टेबल बाय द सिंपल एंड डिस्टेंस टेबल बाय द स्टैंडर्ड answer is b next is three question number which one of the flowing is used as adsorbent for tlc the answer is d all of the above a is silica gel b is alumina and c is casella coir the answer is d all of the above next is fourth question number 
the identification of a spot on TLC plate done by all of flowing except the answer is B under microscope the answer is B next is five question number the five question number is glass plate in the thin layer chromatography can be coated by which of the flowing techniques the answer is D all of the above A is spreading technique B is pouring technique and C is spraying technique okay the answer is D all of the above next is six question number the ideal thickness of silica gel G layer on in TLC should be 0 0.25 micrometer the answer is B okay so करेंगे paper chromatography का MCQ जो कि instrumental method of analysis का है और seventh term के लिए okay exam में important है तो जरूर देखें first question number solve करते हैं in which of the flowing type of paper chromatography the mobile phase move vertically in upward direction over sheet of paper the answer is A ascending paper chromatography the answer is A okay next is two question number which type of filter paper is not mostly used in paper chromatography the answer is c what mean filter paper the answer is c next is three question number in which of the flowing type of paper chromatography the mobile phase move horizontally over a circular sheet of paper the answer is c radial paper chromatograph the answer is c next is fourth question number and fourth is in paper chromatography circular development technique is also called as the answer is c radial developments the answer is c next is five question number paper chromatography is more suited to which of the following principle the answer is b partition chromatography the answer is b next is six question number flowing which is not type of paper chromatography the answer is c thin layer chromatography okay now we solve karenge electrophoresis ka mcq jo ki instrumental method of analysis ka seventh sem ke liye okay chaliye start karte hain first question number in paper electrophoresis which type of paper is used kis type ka paper use karte hain to what mean filter paper the answer is c next is second question number in improved in an improved version of gel electrophoresis is capillary gel electrophoresis the answer is a capillary gel electrophoresis next is three question number in electrophoresis separation depends on movement of ion under influence of electric field the answer is c next is fourth question number the technique electrophoresis for separation of charge molecule was developed by the answer is b tisselius the answer is b okay yahan tak aapka jo hai complete hota hai unit 3 unit 3 mein jo hai introduction to chromatography complete ho chuka absorption and partition column chromatography complete ho chuka thin layer chromatography complete ho chuka paper chromatography complete ho chuka electrophoresis complete ho chuka yani ki unit 3 aapka complete ho gaya okay chale next unit mein dekhte hain 